Hello you beautiful peeps, my name's John, welcome to my channel. As you can see, we're at the speed run area again, and by the looks of it, there's a half marathon, so there are runners everywhere. Today's goal, don't hit any runners. Must remember that. Quick update, um, the tires, as you can see, are the same because I'm still having problems locating foams, but I do have a solution if these are just completely unusable. I'm gonna have to cut the chassis to make them fit, but needs must. Now, today, let me tell you, is the last day that we're gonna be trying with this setup. If we can't keep it in a straight line today, I'm gonna abandon the direct drive, and then we're gonna go to pinion and spur gear just to get a, a smoother power delivery. As you can see, I've got a larger 2S battery, 5,000 milliamp hour battery here. Again, a little bit of weight, but less power being a 2S. Um, in the nose here, before we had 20 ounces of weight, now we only have five ounces of weight at the front. And then at the rear here, I will just show you, we did have two 12 ounces at the rear being 24 ounces total. I've just mounted one 10 ounce here, again to give some weight mm -hmm. there. The rear wheels are now locked. The differential is locked to hopefully give us a straight line speed. And last but not least, we have the aerial here that'll come out the side pod, hopefully to avoid any transmission issues. So wish us luck. Put your predictions in the comments below whether uh, we'll be able to keep it in a straight line. If we do, it's gonna go fast. Oh, I'll also uh, warm up the tires as well if we can't keep it in a straight line in the hope that that will work. So this is the Red Bull RB9 Formula One car converted to electric and you're watching John Robinson RC. So, uh, as you can see on the GPS, the last run is 67. So we will press backwards, it's on track, so we'll hit start, making that camera start. Let's see what it all can do, shall we? I'm not happy about driving on that inner one now. Come a little bit closer, Colin, please. We have a problem. Front wings off. Oh no, we've lost tire temperature, have we? Yes.
Right, will we say definitively it's not working? So the next job is to chew it up. I will have a look at the GPS, but I doubt it's better than the, the 5960 we got the last time. 62, I'm wrong. Or did we get 63? I can't remember. Okay, listen, let's cut this chassis up, shall we? So, ladies and gentlemen, hasn't worked, has it? Um, these are the only tires that I've got. And as you can see, they are significantly larger. But we know that these go up to 130 kilometers an hour. So I think it's worthwhile trying to jimmy them to fit now. The only problem that I'm not happy about is the fact to get them to fit. As you see, I'm gonna have to cut some of this chassis here. I do have another chassis on the nitro but I still don't particularly want to deface the thing, but needs must. So we will get on with that now. I know that you've been down thinking about him again. I know that your heart's been broken. You should try and let it go and start being yourself. You. How redonkulous does that look? I'm glad the front wing went, quite frankly, because I don't think it's going to stick very well. I don't know. It looks like uh, the high rake at the rear that Formula One cars had for a while. So, what's your predictions now, young man? I think it's going to work. Right, I like the positivity. So here we are, 62, that was the run that we just did. Track start. So that's done. Camera on for when it all goes desperately wrong. Camera is on. This could potentially cause more of the cogging because the diameter of the wheels is more, but Let's just get over the fact that it looks absolutely redonkulous, ladies and gents. Look at that.
bless this little cotton sock. So, 72. So I think foams on this for sure is gonna make the difference. I have to find a solution for the front foams as well, but I'll just find some dragster ones uh, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm thinking to put the other battery in and then just see if we can get higher than 72. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. So, in this instance, we just completely ignore everything that I said at the start of this video. I've changed to the 3S battery because I wanna see how fast we get. Could work, maybe couldn't work. Yeah, let's get on. Ladies and gents, at 10% power, we have it uh, out of control. That time, I got it up to 100% power and it topped out. Oh, I've broken the wing, the rear wing now as well. So not only have we lost the front wing, we've now lost the rear wing and I've chewed up the chassis. This has not gone well today, ladies and gents, has it? Let's, just for the sake of argument... Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. For the sake of argument, uh, check this, but I, if I'm right, it'll be 72. 69. Well, you know, I'm frequently wrong, so it's even less. What is it that we've done since the last time? Not a lot, really, have we? Okay, right, that's it, that's it. I'm sorry to say, but that is completely it for this car. Um, obviously, the uh, direct drive just isn't working. The tyres are a must to get fixed, but as what's been mentioned on the comments below, and thank you to everybody that's um, commented to try and make this work, it is an extremely long car versus width. So it's always gonna be difficult to control. The solution maybe is to get the wheel slightly out, but then you're modifying it to the point of it, there being no point to this. So I think, ladies and gents, it is now time to go back to opinion and spur gear. I hope you all agree. And then uh, obviously spend hours and hours fixing wings because that, that just ain't right at all. So listen, thank you so much for following uh, this journey. It's not ended how I want it to, but it's not the end either, is it? We are gonna change it and then we'll see uh, what sort of speeds we can get, but I don't see the point of doing any more running until we get some foams. That, without doubt, is the most important thing right now. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Stay safe, take care, bye-bye. Thank you so much for sticking around for uh, this quick update video. As you can see, the car has completely changed. Um, what I've gone and done is remove the direct drive. If you remember, the motor was here, straight into the differential. That's now gone. We now have the, dif uh, the differential going onto this here that goes onto the spur gear that then meets with the motor. So a lot, lot more different. Room for the battery here, ESC here on off button and here is the receiver. This is still the receiver with the gyro on it. And I will quickly, quickly, excuse my neighbors, turn all of this on. And if you pay close attention to this here and obviously the rear wheels. Excuse me, probably best that that isn't leaning on that. <laughs> Whoops. Mm. 
most importantly here, the power delivery is now much, much smoother. So there should be a lot less of that snapping around. I have treated the tires with WD-40 and they are a little bit more grippy. <laughs> Excuse my neighbors one more time. Um, they are a little bit more grippy, which is very good, but I should assume that these will pick up the uh, dust very quickly as well. So I am still looking for uh, foams and I still cannot find them so if there is anybody out there that can uh, hook me up with some foams for this car please please I beg of you so thanks again for watching take care of yourself stay safe hit that subscribe button so that you're alerted next time of updates bye bye